In a prior video, I demonstrated how to update or customize a course or group profile image. Customizing your profile images will help them stand out for your students and when they have a lot of classes listed on their course page or they're a part of a number of different groups, uh, it just helps that profile image stand out a little bit for them and make them easier to find. I'm in my sample demo course and in the upper left hand corner you'll see that the default image is sh being shown. I'm going to hover over that image and click on edit picture and here you're presented with the option to use a, an image that's provided by Schoology but there's a button at the top that says attach file which will allow you to attach your own image to customize the profile image. I'm going to show you two websites um, that are easy to find school subject related images. The first is called upsplash.com and the second is called photosforclass.com. Both of these websites provide repositories of high resolution images that you can use for free. So I'm on Upsplash and let's just say I'm a biology teacher. I'm going to put in biology and search and see what I get. Again, you can use any subject matter, music, science. When you find an image that you want, you can click on it to have a preview look at it. And then in the upper left-hand corner, if I click on download free, it will download that image. You may have downloads from the internet set um, to go to your downloads folder. I have mine set to go to my desktop. So on the right hand side here, here's the image. I'm gonna double click on that and look at it. That looks great. If I wanted to put some text on that, in preview, I could go to tools, annotate, and select text. And I could put text onto my image. I just wanna make sure that I center that text. Be reminded that um, in Schoology, often, um, depending on where your profile image is displayed, it may show only the middle uh, third of the image. It may cut off some of the top and the bottom of that image. So make sure that you center text if you're going to put that into an image. The other thing to be somewhat mindful of is you'll notice um, the contrast here on this page between the text and the background. Um, some images may make it extremely difficult to read. I may need to change the color of that text to make it stand out a little bit more. And again, I'm being mindful to try and center that in the image. And then I'm going to save and we'll do an example quickly from Photos for Class. Again, I'll search for biology. Get some choices here. On this page, I've noticed if you click, if you look at the images here below each one, there's a download or view on Pixabay and report photo. If you click download, it will download the image. And again, it's downloaded it to my desktop here. I'm going to open up this image. You'll notice at the bottom of these images, there's an attribution. It's nice to look at that um, to see what that is, but I really don't want it included with my photo. So on the, the Photos for Class website, if I want a photo, instead I'm going to click on the View on Pixabay website. It opens up this photo, and then I'm going to click Free Download. I would suggest using the default size, 1280 by 972 or whatever it is. You want the one that's um, 1280 wide. And then click Download. You have to confirm that you're not a robot and download. Again, it's downloaded that to my desktop or maybe into your Downloads folder. Now when I open up the image, that attribution is not included at the bottom of the photo. And again, if I wanted to put some text on that, I go to Tools, Annotate, select Text. It's going to remember the default settings I had for the text. If I wanted to change that in any way, I could go to the Formatting Toolbar here, select a different type of font. I might want a different color and save. Now I have some images that I could use on my Schoology course page. So I'm going to go back there. I'm going to say attach file. I'm going to select one of these and open. It's uploading that image. And now my profile image is customized. Let's go back out to courses. 
and we'll see if that's easy to find. There it is.